Now that you have seen the beautiful project, let me quickly discuss what all material you need. For this I am using two pieces of MDF. You can also decide to go in for using cardboard if you so wish. So these pieces of MDF are 6 inches by 4 inches. Both are of the same size and they are approximately 2 to 3 mm thick. The second thing that we need is a gesso or any primer. You can use gesso ready made or you can make gesso at home as well. Then we need some clay. So here I will be using fabricryl molded. You can use any clay that you have or you can even make clay at home. I am sharing all the videos to make stuff at home uh, in the description box. So do check it out. You need a rolling pin, some basic tools for doing clay molding. Then you need colors. So here I will be using my acrylic and chalk colors. We need a black acrylic color. We need silver. This is a silver powder color. You can also use silver acrylic color. I'll be using two shades. One is a blue lagoon chalk paint and one is a teal chalk paint. These are from Little Birdie and I've also mentioned the special coupon code so that if you want to purchase online from Little, Little Birdie, you can get an extra 5% off. So let's quickly get started. So now first what I'm doing is I'm doing a coat of gesso. This is just going to give a base to my MDF pieces. You might need two coats of gesso as well. So till you are satisfied with the coat, please give two coats of gesso. I've also mentioned the link of how to make gesso at home in case you want to make it at home. So now see the gesso has dried up. Now we are going to make a border line first. So if you want to get it framed, just leave half half centimeters on all four sides. So this part is going to go in the framing and then I'm going to make a one centimeter border. So for convenience, I'm just drawing it with a sketch pen so that it is visible on the camera. Same way I'm going to be doing for the other side. So this one, draw the same on the other one. Now once you've drawn it, let us first do the base color. Okay. So I'm taking a teal chalk color and I'm taking a blue and I'll be doing a hue of these two colors. You can take colors of your choice. So I'm using the sponging method to do my chalk colors. Don't worry, the line will be visible and we can easily do our border pattern here. I'm doing them simultaneously so that I can keep the level till which I'm doing my colors same. So same way. Now let this color dry up completely. So now I am taking my clay. So here I am taking my fabricryl molded which comes in two parts and I am going to mix it completely and we are going to start doing our work. Don't mix the entire packets if you have bigger packets. You can just go start with half packets. Just mix them well till they are completely mixed together. They come in two separate parts. Okay. One part is dark color like this. And the other part has a whitest texture like this. And let me now mix and show you. So now I see I mixed it. So it's completely mixed up together. Now we are going to start. Just keep a scale for reference. Because well, the size of the painting that is available with us is only 12 cm. We don't want our figures to go beyond 10 cm. So this is the first, the top part, the head part. So for the dhoti part, I am just doing like this. Now comes thin work. 
for thin work what we are going to do is take any powder here I am taking talcum powder for ease and we are going to make thin thin ropes so first we are making uh, Krishnaji we have made the basic body structure now we are going to add all finer details Now just make very tiny strings like this. So this is the nose. For the eyes again we need very thin strings. So this is the earring. Now this is the first mala or neck piece. So just remove the uneven part. Now we are going to have a dupatta or a chunni on both sides so for that I am putting this on a plastic sheet so that it does not stick to the base and it is easy when it is completely dry I can simply paint it and then stick it onto my painting now just double it now double it again like this Okay. simply press it here the first side of the chimney okay now simply attach this like this Now comes making the hands. Just lift this a little bit. So this way we fixed the first hand. And we'll attach a bangle just to conceal that. Okay. Now we are going to make the basuri. I'm not going to make it too thick, but we need it to stay in position. Okay. 
just lift the hand a little okay this way now comes the lower dress for the lower dress okay, generally you won't really need much of fevicol but because um, if the lower part starts drying out then in that case fevicol is a must so i've created this twist Now comes the feet. For both the feet, I'm going to make tiny pile. Okay, now we are going to make a small mold punky on top. Now, so this way, you just keep it as handy. A twelve centimeter se bade nahi hone chahiye, otherwise it won't fit. Okay, so on that basis. So this gets attached here. Now the first Krishna ji is done. Now we are going to make Radha ji here. Okay, keep the scale. I don't want her height to be lesser or matlab to be more. First, let us make the base. So generally, in the side faces are made. So again, I'm going to be making a flat side face first. Now, lower side there is going to be a ghagra. So for that, I will use this. Just flatten it from the base side. First, I'm going to make a lot of strings, thin strings. So now I've made thin strings, and I'm going to attach everything with my fabricor. So we are now attaching the hands. Now thin bangles. Now we are going to give the look of the ghagra. For that, I've made these thin, thin strips. Just start sticking them. Okay. So now we have made all these strings like that. Just let me put one or two on top. So these have gone. Now we are going to do a little design work on top to give it a finished look. Because edges se thoda unfinished lag raha. Now 
if you want to add just add one or two more okay now comes the head part for the head part i've made a small drop shape like this just to indicate the mukut now for the head gear so head gear we can make with this okay now to decorate it here i am just putting a spiral i am gonna create a spiral like this little open it and i am gonna attach it okay. face we have to make so for face i will just make the face for the face, make these very thin okay, strips. Okay, now comes an earring. So, and now comes the eyes. You know, I have made the eyes also. So this way we've done both. Now let both of these dry up completely for us to stick it onto our paint. Now while that is sticking, keep it on a flat surface. Now both our colors have dried up. We are now going to create the border. Let me show you. A little portion of the border and then I'm going to finish it okay on this line that you have drawn with your black color that is really important don't go to inside because if you go to inside then what will happen is the space available to us is going to reduce which we don't want okay this way now we want another thin strip okay you can make it a little thinner than your outer lines just keep these, roll these and keep them ready here. Now comes our zigzag pattern. So this way I've done my border. I'm going to do my border on all sides in the same way and i'm going to show you this border i'm going to do keep it aside and we are going to later on color this border completely black now once your clay see is completely dried up take your black acrylic color and i'm going to do black acrylic in all the parts where i've done my clay let me show you the finished colored piece now i've done my black color i've let the black color dry and i've taken out my silver color now you can take silver color or you can take silver powder whatever is easily available and we are now going to do this on to our black usually in this form of uh, craft the color that was there was goldenish bronzish because it was a brass kind of an effect but here for a contemporary look i'm using my silver color if you like you can also use your golden color so I'm not I'm going to try and avoid the inner spaces to highlight the edges so we are going to do silver on to the edges okay, now now comes Radha Krishna. For them also, you can highlight using your silver color. So when you're highlighting all the clay work, all the designing work that we've done in the clay, will get also highlighted. Now once you're satisfied with your silver color, now let us go ahead. So in one of the paintings we are going to be sticking Krishnaji. So on the back side apply a lot of uh, white glue. Okay, this is really important to stick it really well. 
Now here I'm going to be sticking this. It's going to take a little while but it's going to stick really well. Don't worry. So this one. I'm going to let this dry now. Both these pieces I'm going to let them dry completely. And then I'll show you how we are going to do the final coat on this. So now this has dried up completely. I'm using my decor gloss varnish to do a final coat of varnish on top to secure our paintings. This is going to dry up really fast. In 5-7 minutes it's going to completely dry up and your painting is going to be ready. Now let this dry and let me show you how to do it. 